Today I have a project again about RC electronics and it's about making your own RC car receiver. So I have here the uh, Hobby King uh, receivers that are coming with the HK310 and the 3XS, Turnigy 3XS car radios. And I have also two receivers that I built myself with different designs that I want to show off today. So they are fully compatible. Uh, they are all bound to the same transmitter now and uh, they work fine. Now a word of warning, this project is really about the Hobby King HK310 and Turnigy 3XS radios. These receivers will not work with other radios because in the digital um, radios nowadays they are all using different methods of how to transmit the data across to using different chipsets and this is really specific to these Hobby King products. So I have uh, two variants here. Let's start up uh, with this one here. This one has an Nordic Semiconductor RF module with an NRF24L01. And uh, this chip is the RF chip that is used in the uh, Hobby King receivers as well. However, the variant that is used in the Hobby King receivers also has a built-in microcontroller. I'll show that later. This one doesn't have a microcontroller, so we have to have uh, here a second board. We have to have uh, our own microcontroller on board here. Uh, it's an ARM chip. It's an NXP microcontroller that I'm also using now in my uh, latest uh, light controller builds. It's very powerful, very cheap. Uh, the big advantage of this uh, receiver is that it's uh, very easy to program. If you want to build custom functions in it, uh, whatever you want to do, uh, because it's all C code, it's a standard GCC cross compiler for ARM, it's very easy to hack. Uh, to program it, you just need a serial cable. Uh, the RF modules are very, very uh, cheap. These are very popular with the Arduino crowd, so you find them on eBay everywhere. You can actually get them for less than one dollar shipped uh, per module, so that makes it very cheap. You can build a whole receiver for about uh, well, less than 10 US dollars, including uh, circuit board and everything if you're building more than one, for sure. The second variant is uh, using the exact same ch chip that's in the uh, Hobby King products. It's an NRF 24 LE1, and the LE1 has a built in 8051 microcontroller. So this module here is again uh, from, from Chinese websites. Uh, it's, it's way more expensive than the module without the microcontroller. So this is less than $1. This is about uh, 4 to 5 to $6, depending on where you buy and how many you buy. The advantage is that it's much, much simpler because everything is included. So you only need a power regulator and some protection resistors and just a, a couple of wires on the circuit board, an LED and a push button. So it's uh, much easier to build than the other variant. Uh, I have a software available on GitHub for both. I would say it's hard to choose which one uh, to build. There are advantages and disadvantages. So here the advantage is that it's easy to build. It's much more compact. Actually, if you compare it to the Hobby King one, it's about the same size, as you can see. The other one is slightly bulkier, but still uh, smaller than the blue Hobby King uh, receiver. Uh, the big advantage of this one is that it's easier in terms of software hacking. You don't need a special programmer, just a USB serial dongle. And uh, also the servo pulses are uh, generated by hardware timers and they are extremely precise. On this version, you have everything controlled by software which uh, makes it a little bit jittery. Now this is all theory, in practice you won't notice a difference most likely unless you have a very specific application that is very critical. But if you have that then you wouldn't use uh, $30 radios anyway. And you would use something a bit uh, better. So this one is easy to build. Uh, the module is harder to get because there are a lot of different variants of this uh, 24LE1 modules and you have to make sure that you get the right one 
for the circuit board, or you make your own circuit board, of course, with a different pinout, and adjust the software. You will also need to make a programmer for this chip. Again, they are all uh, over the internet. You can find projects from Arduino-based to PIC-based, uh, so it's easy to find a programmer for that, but you still have to build it and test it and make it working, while this one, you just need a serial dongle and a piece of software, and uh, you can uh, program the firmware in it. So everything is on GitHub. I put a link down in the video description, and uh, it's a great way of you know, making your own stuff. And uh, if Hoppy King decides to no longer sell it, uh, we can still make use of the radios because we can build our own receivers now. So thank you for watching.